It was 120 degrees and sang in Afghanistan. Lance Corporal Netflix, United States Marine Corps, was on patrol with the squad. He was point man, an adrenaline junkie with a dip so fat you would think he had a tumor in his right cheek. Armed with an M4 in hand, K-bar strapped to his chest, nothing was going to stop him from killing some freedom haters. When all of a sudden, out of the corner of his eye, he sees her. Comedy Central, a deployment 10. Using his critical operator skills he learned as a Marine and as a 19-year-old horn dog, he simultaneously halts patrol. Donkey kicks into her house, finds the woman beating terror with bomb material scattered over his mutt, and bam, shot to the chest. He snags Comedy Central and commences to make sweet, sweet love to her. I'm talking about the NC-17 version of superheroes, saving the girl from the bad guys and getting the gifts. Nine months later, a bastard child was born. They bestowed upon him the name Vet TV. Everyone agreed that Vet TV would be the prodigal son that saves the military from the snowflakes of the world that can't handle dark, raw, irreverent humor that Hollywood is too afraid to touch just because the military should be honorable and professional. The young enlisted ranks is filled with fucking dirt bags. <laughs> who just want to go kill the enemy and then get laid. That's all they care about. All hail that TV, the military streaming service you've been waiting for. The bastard child of Netflix and Comedy Central. <laughs> <laughs>